I am getting a little kitty. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and welcome to another day in my life. Today is a very, very special day. I have a very special announcement that you probably know about if you read the title of this video, but I'm going to be keeping it just a little bit longer to talk about it because right now I'm about to be going into the nail salon. I spent my morning just kind of doing work. I edited a video. Um, I uploaded my video for today. I went ahead and set it live. I answered some emails and all in all, just kind of getting things done that I kind of needed to do for today. So so I'm taking a little midday break to vlog a little bit and to get my nails done. My nails I didn't get done that long ago. I think I got them done maybe like two weeks ago. I guess that's about time. This is what they look like right now. They are really, really cute. Um, they're just kind of a little bit too long for me. I don't normally like my nails super duper long. And I don't know if you can tell on that, but like the outer coating is getting taken off of my nails, which has never happened before. I don't know if it was just the top coat that this one person did. I don't really know, but I'm back at my home hometown obviously because I haven't moved back to Tuscaloosa yet but I have been crazy busy getting things together for my apartment going through boxes packing boxes going back and forth to my storage locker things like that I really really wanted a kind of relaxation day if you see some stuff in the back that is already things that I have packed up because I'm going back to Tuscaloosa this Friday to get my hair done and then to also make another trip to my storage locker so I'm going to be getting some baby pink nails and I think I'm just going to do matching toes what I'm wanting to do is basically cut them down to basically get short as they can go without looking too like nubby you know what I mean but anyways that's the intro to this video welcome to the day of my life I'm excited to bring you along I don't really know exactly what we're doing but I can't wait to share my fun little surprise with you as well I'm grabbing my bag we're going in here get a little pamper on <laughs> in Y'all, you will never believe what just happened in the nail salon. Okay, so just left the nail salon. It has now been two and a half hours. It normally does not take me that long to get my nails done. My favorite guy that I normally go to, I don't know about you, okay, but me, I have very specific needs for my nails. I don't let anyone just touch my nails. And there's a reason why and you're about to find out. At my hometown, I have been going to the same guy literally since I was 10. I have been getting my nails done, not religiously or anything, but I've been getting my nails done on and off since I was 10 years old and I have been going to the same guy okay so he actually just left the normal nail salon that he's been at for I don't know over a decade and I find him okay he moved it didn't tell me where he moved I was like rude I'm one of your OGs but anyways moved to this place and one of my friends that also goes to him she was like oh he's at this nail salon he's keeping it on the DL I'm like oh I'm definitely in the DL you know what I mean so I call yesterday I'm like hey I need to book an appointment with my man and they're like oh okay yeah we'll definitely do that have you down for 12 I come here at 12 expecting to have like my appointment and he tells me yeah no I already have someone for 12 I can't do your nails I'm sorry why did I make my appointment so I was like okay Lauren don't get upset like this is not that big of a deal but I'm like it is because I made an appointment I kind of had a right to be upset if you were going to keep this original person and not me but I was like okay whatever like things happen so he's like I'll find someone else to do your nails I'm like okay perfect so he finds me someone to do my pedicure and it was not an enjoyable relaxing experience it was just really bad the color isn't right on my toes and obviously at the point that like I realized the actual color because you know how it can go on like a different color the first like couple coats of it anyways the pedicure was very horrible and they finally tell me like hey actually your man's going to be done in a little bit if you want to wait for him you can just sit down and he'll do your nails and I'm like you know what I'll wait I literally waited like 30 minutes for this man to get finished but I'm like you know what I asked for him this is just going to work this is the last time that I'm getting my nails done before I move <sighs> so I go there and my nails okay so past couple times I've gotten my nails done I obviously didn't know where this man was so I couldn't get it done with him so I've just been finding random places to get my nails done that I thought were trustworthy no they weren't so he's like you know taking off like the top coat or whatever he's like uh-oh you have a boo-boo and I'm like what do you mean I have a boo-boo okay 
I had been getting acrylics on my nails and no one that had been doing my nails at these different salons, I guess, took off the acrylics like they're supposed to and like the time that they're supposed to. So literally, I had water mold underneath three of my nails. Like it looked like my nail was bruised so badly. It's like yellow and brown underneath my nail. And I'm like, did I bruise my nail? He's like, no, that's water mold from your nail having acrylics on it for too long. And if you don't do anything about it, it'll turn into fungus. I'm like, I'm not about to have fungus on my nails so I start freaking out I'm like get all the acrylics off I can't deal with it I have been through enough today so he ended up taking off all the acrylics and just putting gel on my nails which is what I wanted in the first place but I didn't trust their pink color that they put on my toes so I just got white but I'm like what do you mean it can turn into fungus no no I do not house fungus Okay, no. So now I have basically fungi nails and I'm freaking out. So that was my experience at the nail salon. I hope you enjoy my story time. But now I'm heading to the shops like around the corner. It's probably like a mile away. Um, but it's basically like an outdoor mallsy shopping center type thing. That's where I'm going to meet you. I'm going to go ahead and drive and turn up my air conditioning because it's 95 degrees outside. But I'll be seeing you in a second. I just wanted to tell you about my traumatic experience about my nails. But I guess we made it eventually so we have made it to the pet store so y'all have been asking for quite some time if I'm getting a pet and what kind of pet I'm getting um because a lot of y'all know that I'm moving into my very first apartment at the end of this month and I'm bringing you along for everything pack with me plan with me empty apartment tours full apartment tours moving in anything and everything I am filming for you guys I'm wanting to make sure that my snapchat send to Keegan I always snapchat Keegan these long story times i just told her about my nails but i'm waiting for this one last thing to send and like i'm just wanting to make sure it sends correctly anyways i have a big big announcement and i am getting a little kitty for my apartment i already put in my deposit for this cat and i am so so excited so my first pet i actually ever had was a cat and i think i got him when i was like four or five my parents got me the kitty and his name was mr wiggles but he also had like several different names like I just renamed the cat like basically whenever my little heart desired. Anyways, literally my favorite cat. He was a tabby and Siamese mix. He was my favorite thing ever. Well, he unfortunately um, passed away when I was 15 or 16. I want to say I was 15 because I know I wasn't driving yet. And it was so, so sad and I haven't been able to get a cat since um, just because my family is more like dog people, dog lovers. And I love dogs, don't get me wrong, but I got bit in the face by a dog when I was five. I don't know if I've ever told y'all that. I feel like I've definitely said something about it in a video. Well, I got bit in the mouth by a dog when I was five. And ever since then, I've been kind of turned off from dogs for obvious reasons. And dog lovers still hate on me for being mostly like a cat person. But like, I'm sorry. I, I had to have stitches in my lips. Like it just was not a fun experience as a child. But I'm getting a cat because it's going to be easier for me to upkeep and also keep in an apartment. I didn't want to have a dog and it be confined in my small apartment. And and, you know have to worry about taking it on walks and doing all this I know that cats are more self-efficient and I don't have to bring them outside to go to the bathroom or anything we can just stay in my apartment and play if it's a rainy day I don't have to worry about getting an exercise or something we can definitely do everything we need to do inside so if you have any tips for a new kitty owner I would love to have them if you want to comment them down below if you want to DM me on Instagram I would love it I am keeping the type of cat and my cat name everything under wraps until I go get her I actually get her the first week in July I think so shortly after I move into my apartment literally a couple days after I go and pick her up so yes it is a her she's so so cute she's in Alabama so she's about three hours away from me so Will and I are going to make it a little trip oh my goodness I'm so so excited but I am here at PetSmart right now and I put together a little list I went ahead and I got her some food bowls from Etsy this is what they look like they are customized like with her name in it. I know, I'm extra. I also got her a couple of collars. They are so, so cute. And then I also got her a bed. And it's a bed I got from Home Goods, I believe. And it's kind of like an enclosed hanging bed. It's like a hammock bed, if that makes sense. But like also not. I would show you, but everything is already packed up for her. And then I also already got a tote carrier for her. Um, I got one of the cloth ones. Here's a picture of what it looks like. But it has the metal bars. So like it's safer, it's softer for her. Everything like 
like that. So when we go pick her up, when I go take her to the vet, anything like that, she'll have this cute big carrier because she's going to get quite big. I'm going to be taking you shopping for my first kitty. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so, so excited. I cannot wait to reveal her to y'all. The kitty content is so, so going to be here. So I'm about to be bringing you along, get some things. I made a list of a couple things that I wanted to get. This isn't going to be like that extreme because I mean, I already got like a bed and her bowl and her tag and everything like that. But we're going in here to shop for my little kitty and then also perhaps stop and get like a coffee or some lunch because I am a little bit hungry. <laughs> and I just got a ton of stuff for her. I honestly thought this is going to be like a little mini haul. I gave myself a list of like what to get, like toys, treats, food, cat litter, things like that. But then it just like started to get very overwhelming with everything they had in there. And honestly, in my mind, I know that whenever she first comes, I'm not going to want to run to the pet store like with her or with anybody else. So I just decided to get everything that I needed to buy for her, toys, food, everything. That way I will already have everything set up for whenever she comes here. So first off, okay, obviously I got cat litter. It's really heavy. You guys don't care about my cat litter. So I'm just going to keep that back there. I also got her some kitten food. I've been talking to the breeder about like the food that she's been eating, what we're going to like transition her into, all that. So got her some kitten food. Wow, y'all, y'all are really here just watching me show you what I got for my cat. Okie dokie, this thing got me and I think it's going to be so fun for her. It's this Chase Meow. Mount Meowton, but it has these two little ball or three four I'm more excited about this than she ever will be. It says that it can occupy like indoor cats for like active play and I can just see her like batting at this. I mean, I'd play with it if I was a cat, but it's so cool, so fun. I think this is gonna be really nice just to have like in the kitchen or like the living room for her just to like play with at all times. Then I got this Arm & Hammer double duty litter deodorizer because I'm on like a Facebook group for like the type of cat I'm getting. And they're like, this is really great to get if you're like getting a new cat. It's gonna be getting adjusted to things everything like that so I went ahead it was like buy one get one free so I went ahead and got these I also got her some wet cat food applause this is what the can looks like and honestly it got me because this is an additive free cat food and it's completely natural like literally the ingredients in this is tuna fish broth and rice all these other ones had like a bunch of additive stuff in it, but I got her some like different ones. Like this is a salmon one, this is a tuna one. I got her a chicken one and one other one so like she can taste it. Then I got her some toys. So I got this, it's called a bumper mouse. I don't know, seems kind of cute. Oh, my video just went live. I was wondering, I was like getting comments and I'm like, what are they watching? Definitely my video just went live 10 minutes ago. I did not know that. Anyways, this is like a little motorized mouse. She may be afraid of it, maybe throwing it away or giving it to like a little shelter but I got it because I thought it would be cute I also got her this little thing oh my gosh guys can't you just imagine me with my little cat then I got these mice which they have the option to refill with catnip I probably won't I just liked how the mice looked and like how they felt all the other kind of mice that they had were kind of like weird feeling I also got a pet brush I know I'm going to have to upgrade this brush um then I got some kitty caps I've heard great things about these. I'm going to try them. Apparently, like, you put them on, like, your cat's nails. That way, like, it helps, like, your furniture not get destroyed. Um, it's, like, non-toxic, all that. So, I'm gonna see if we use these, if she likes them. If she doesn't, we'll just take them off. I also got these can covers for cats. Like, it has, like, cute little cats on it. But, obviously, at the back, it, like, has the option, like, where you can fit whatever can you need to. Now, we're on to the last bag. And this has some more toys. Look at how cute these little sushis are. Oh, I love it so much. I also got this um, destroyer foam because if little girl
girl over here wants to get feisty or sassy and like be on something, I am prepared now. Even though my whole entire apartment is like, it's not hardwood, it's not concrete, but it's like a, a finished concrete. So it's gonna be easy like to clean anything up if something does happen, but I do have rugs that I bought. So that's why I got this. I got some treats. I got this soft bought salmon treats and then these um, buffalo blue burst treats. I also got a kitty laser. I love these. I love playing with cats with little lasers. And I feel like it's just gonna be really fun. And then last but not least, I got this little sport for her wet food. If she is like vibing with it, if she likes it. Um, that way I don't have to use like my own forks or utensils that I use like for my own food for her. So it was really inexpensive and it has a cat on it and it's pink. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna get it. So that was my little haul for my cat. Now I am about to be grabbing some lunch. I don't really know what I'm going to be eating. I'm kind of craving Chick-fil-A, so depending on their line, we may stop there. But we are now about to be heading home. I need to pack a couple more boxes, and I also want to respond back to some comments. That way I can chat with you guys a little bit from my new vlog. But yeah, we're just going to be kind of chill the rest of the day. And then I need to go home and tell my mom about my nail fungus. Y'all, I cannot make this up. Chick-fil-A is closed. Temporary closed for remodeling. Excuse me. Who said you can do that? Okay. Oh, there's a cop. Oh, there's three cops. Oh, there's like six cops. I wonder what happened over there. Okay, anyways, I guess I'm gonna go get Jimmy John's because that sounds good and Chick-fil-A obviously is a no-go. <laughs> I got my Jimmy Jones. It smells so good. I love sandwiches as odd as that sounds. I don't know, is that weird? Like to love sandwiches as I do. Got some barbecue chips. Got the number one, no tomato, add turkey. Anyways, we are en route to go back home to grub down on some lunch or a very early dinner and then start packing up some boxes. got this box going. I am doing a whole in-depth of like a pack with me video. This definitely is not it. Also, my closet broke. I have like a makeshift closet. A lot of y'all knew that was right here as well. Yeah, all of my clothes are literally just stacked on top of there because my closet literally broke. So I have to figure out somewhere to put all these clothes as well. But I'm just trying to make it one day at a time. <laughs> Well guys, that was our day. It was kind of like, I don't know, normally my days in my life are really productive, which I feel like I still got things done, but I definitely took some time out today for myself. I have this ring light right now. I got it at TJ Maxx. I don't really know what the vibe is. But this makes me look red. This makes me look orange. This makes me look like I'm in Frozen. Yeah, I'm not really vibing with it at all, but thank you guys so much for coming along for this video. I just finished packing some boxes and now I'm about to be heading over to Will's house and hang out with him for a little bit. But if you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, you can click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye! You know that I